Hi, I'm Hillary Williams. I'm a screen printing artist, and I'm going to show you some great consistencies that you might want to see in your inks that you're going to use for your screen printing. I have some inks here before me. A few examples of ones that would work are here with this red. I like to keep my inks in these food containers and then seal the top so it keeps them from drying out. This is an ink with good consistency, which means that it kind of looks a little bit like cake batter. It runs off the spoon well without clumping too much, but it's not too runny. Now I'm going to show an ink that is a little too runny. This black ink got a little too much water mixed in there. So when you're stirring it, it's just really loose and wet. It doesn't have any kind of consistency to it. The reason why this is not good for screen printing is because it's so runny that it will drip through your screen and run and blob out on the back side and on your paper or your fabric. It's a little hard to fix when you've got it this runny, but if you have a larger container of your base color, such as black, you can add more to it until it becomes a better consistency. This ink is far too dried out. This was either really old or there was a little hole in the in the seal and it's a little too far gone. If I try and mix water in here it will end up making a lot of clumps in the ink which will alter the consistency of your color and make it harder for you to get a really nice print. Unfortunately this one's a bit too dry and we're gonna have to toss it. This one however is just slightly too dried out. See how it doesn't really run very well? It kind of just balls up and falls off rather than runs. Now you could use it like this, but it's a lot harder to work with. So I'm just gonna thin it down and make it a better consistency. We're gonna thin it down with just a little water because it's water soluble ink. And you wanna be careful not to add too much. We'll start with that. And also, you don't want to be splashing it all over the place. Oh, it's looking better already. Might be all we need for this small bit of ink. Yeah. Now I'm going to show you how to mix a color using this white, but first of all, we're going to thin it out a little bit because it is a little thick. And this came right out of the container this way. Again, it is usable, but it's quite hard to work with, so we're going to make it a little easier to work with. It may look like it's not going to mix in at first, but it will. See, that's why it's also nice to have a little bigger container than as much ink as you need. So you have plenty of room to stir it around. Okay, it's much better. When you're working with white or yellow or anything light colored, you have to realize that the darker colors will dominate it. So you want to add small amounts at a time. We're going to add a touch of orange and mix that in. Maybe that's looking a little too peachy, so we'll do just a touch of this red here. See how such a little bit goes such a long way over here? I do want it to be a little bit darker than that. So I'm going to add a little bit more of both. But yeah, go in, go in small stages. No need to, no need to rush it. Maybe just a touch more orange, and then I think we'll be set. Yeah. 
And also keep scraping the edges with your spoon so that you don't leave big clumps of white or your base color stuck in the cracks. All right, I think that's the color I was looking for and it's got a great consistency. This gives you a good idea of what you're looking for in your ink. Even if you open it straight out of the can and it doesn't look right, don't worry, now you know how to adjust it.